Ah, glory to Vishnu, Shiva, and Vishnu. And hopefully, today will be the last episode of the war against these guys. I mean, we've been fighting this war for a very long time now. It has been... You know what I mean, guys? It has been one of those wars that I'll probably remember for for a long, long time. We Both sides have lost much. Both sides have fought for much. It's overall been a war. And I think it comes without saying that it finally needs to come to an end. Because, I mean, I'm starting to fight more of the rebels than I am of the actual Soviets. Which usually means that this war has been going on for too long. I mean, most of our war exhaustion, 37. 37.8. <laughs> and we haven't really lost that many battles. We've been mostly winning. So I can imagine for all these other guys that are losing, it's even worse. And since all these other guys have a fixation to get out of the war. So they got out of the war. See, Austria, can I get you guys out of the war? No. Well, I don't think my American allies are gonna deplete me, but... That was kind of... BS. <laughs> uh, I guess it, I guess it does sometimes happen. So, yeah, it seems like I just lost my, uh great allies over there. They kind of just said, yeah, you guys are good enough by yourself. We're not gonna run. Uh, kind of take about that, but I mean, I'm, they weren't really helping anymore at this point in the game anyways. I, I'm basically doing all the major heavy work. Most of my soldiers are the ones that are risking their lives most of the time to fight against all of these guys. And you know, I don't mind if rebels run ragged in the Soviet land, because they are ultimately helping me out. In the ultimate end, they are helping me out. Okay. Oh, and then that's also blocking that, and then that's also blocking that. Oh my goodness. That's right there, and then once I get right here, I can just start pushing down right here, and then we can just start pushing Austria. And once we're done with that, let's see, how much more do we have against, against our borders? Okay, we still got all of that. We still got all of that. We've basically occupied all of that. Soviets. Did you guys like our war? No. No, you guys wouldn't even... I don't get that. They're completely occupied. Why would they have a... Stip of the tongue to even s try to stand up against me? I mean, I completely occupied them. Don't get it. Don't get it all, but okay. So yeah, we're just right on the we're right on the Austrian border. We're about to do the final push and go kind of thing. I we basically are right there. We're right there at the finish line. Uh, with most of the rebels now helping me and hindering me about what's happening here. We're right there at the border. And I still they the Austrians only have 341 soldiers. I still got at least a thousand soldiers left, and we could still be going on with this war. I mean, this this is a war. As I've said before many many times, we as the Indian people are not losing. We lost too much the first time this happened. We're not doing it again. Okay, we're not. Okay, so we're moving right there. Okay, right here I'm going to split up my men. And as you can see, I'm glad the I'm glad that those of the Germans are not giving them access. That's the one thing I'm glad about. And the Austrians are slowly. Oh, this is actually some of my conquered land. I don't need to do anything. Yeah, I'm basically considering the all the land that the uh, the uh, rebels conquer is my land too. Because the more they conquer, the more they have a chance to become free. And after this war, I'm hoping that they'll be able to take over so much. Just so much. Alright, and I'm right at the border now. You better fear me now. Because I'm right at the border. <laughs> Austria, I'm right at the border. Right at the border. A little bit unsmart moving in though. So I can't tell who's friendly or foe. Because it's like I'm using the rebels at some of my lines and I'm not using it at some of my other lines. I just moved into some of the land, so. Oh, good. It's finally begun. And they're having to deal with rebel problems, which is 
great news for me. And now we're finally up against the, uh, uh, finally up against them. But there's still, like, tons, I still, like, notice tons and tons of, like, little tiny individual bands of these guys. I don't know how, but they just somehow still all alive at this point. So I'm just gonna go in and just go kill some of them. Because uh, I can deal with the rebels, but I cannot deal with these organized armies. Okay, and let's see. Do I have some move troops over here moving in? Okay, these guys are going to go in to go crush these guys. You guys, I guess, will go right here to go make sure that we have a good front. Yeah, we... Okay. And then, then right there. Uh, the first strike at Austria. And I think they're going through a major, major downtime right now. They must be going through major problems, because I can always see rebels start to form in their land. And it seems like France is attacking Belgium. What? Now that usually never happens. <laughs> usually France and Belgium are usually BFFs. So that must be a new coincidence that must have recently arisen due to this new timeline I have created with just like attacking everyone. <laughs> okay, and then there's a battle over here. Go send in more troops. Uh, actually I need to get these troops over here. Go send in more troops. Go send in more troops. We're almost, we're almost liberating the Polish guys. Wow, we, we have gotten so... Okay. And they're retreating now. Okay. And we're gonna go send these guys down to here. Because we just need to... Okay. And there we go. We moved in even more. We're moving in right here. Uh, in fact, if I were to move my soldiers right here, I basically block them. They can't get any more soldiers into Soviet Russia. So then I basically own Russia now. <laughs> uh, yep, I own Russia now. There is no one else to stop me in Russia. And all these guys, let's see, is there any more other Austrian armies? Let's go destroy those because those are pretty powerful. And all these other little tiny armies, not really that important to deal with. Let's see, any good armies? This one, how is this one still alive? Oh my goodness, they are determined. Okay, let's go down here. Let's go down here. Alright, we should be able to conquer that back. Pretty handily. Okay. And then with that, we basically own all that. We basically still own all that. See, all my allies still with me? Yes, my allies are still with me, and we're still rapidly approaching the end game. Because Canada's all gone. Austria's still alive, but I could probably deal with them pretty simply. Austria is the last major threat. That's basically the last major threat on this continent. Because I know Great Britain's just not going to have enough ships or transports to transport any of their men to a good, effective area. Right? And you guys are just... Oh my goodness. Rebels, I love it. Just like causing so much difficulty for the entire world. Luckily, I'm going to hide in all my troops in the... Uh, Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move in all my troops to the uh, Austrian border to hide them in. <laughs> so I don't have to deal with all these rebels anymore. Oh. It's also an excuse to just go in and go conquer a lot of this. Uh. <laughs> okay, you move in. Once you guys get there, then I'll have you guys combine. And then, no, not combine. Separate. Yeah, some of you guys will go right there, some of you guys will go right there. Oh, yes. Now, the Austrians must be shivering in their wake. Oh my goodness, they're having their own revolutionary problems. Oh my goodness, they should just give up. They should just give up. I am... I, I seriously have won this. Like, no doubt in my mind am I going to not say I won this. They have lost. They have definitely lost. I don't. It's funny. My my rebels aren't even forming yet. And usually about this time, I would assume they would. But I guess I'm such an oppressive regime that they guess they just can't do much against me. Okay, I'm gonna go move in right there. Because yeah, I still got military access with the Germans. Oh wait a minute! I still got military access with the Germans. Oh, this is too good. This is just too good. I could just go in and go massacre them. That's all I'm doing, too. I'm just massacring the Austrians. The Austrians are now just done for. 
just utterly beaten, guys. Just utterly beaten. But they still don't give up, though. It's the only thing I do admire about them is that even though they know they're defeated, they still don't give up. I give them credit. Anyone who has the guts to not give up against overwhelmingly more powerful odds deserves massive praise in my book. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it can still cause lots of damage to me is quite annoying. Even when I have a more powerful force than they do. Alright, but then that is not more powerful force. Okay, move in these guys to go take out those guys. Okay, kaboom! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Ashia is gone. So, guys, will you guys accept peace? No. What about you, Great Britain? Will you guys finally accept peace that I offer? I won't give all of America what it wants. In fact, I won't even give myself all of what I want. But I want these two things. I do want at least this. If you do not give me that, then I'm not going to give up the war. And this could go on for a very long time. And actually, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Sorry guys, I know it's a little bit short, but... This was, this war is going on for a long time and I need to go to bed. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.